So normally when DLCs drop and they include cars with them, I do a speed test and compare them, you know, against all the other cars in its class. This DLC, however, is different because you don't really race lowrider cars and there is no need for knowing really how fast it goes. So what I wanted to do instead, because there's not much to really compare, is a hydraulics comparison. As I'm sure many of you guys already know, the hydraulics are fairly expensive. The top end ones cost upwards of $250,000, which isn't cheap, especially if you want to customize the rest of the car and you don't have that much money. So in this video, I compared the four options you're given, the first one, the standard one at $75,000, all the way to the top tier one at $250,000. And at the end, I will give you my opinion on which one I think is the best for you to spend your money on. One thing I do want to mention is that this test isn't like 100% accurate. You can just see the results. I mean, if you were like really hardcore, you could like measure the different points of which like the hydraulics lift you up. But this is just me and another guy who were using the exact same car him having the top tier hydraulics and then me just progressing through the ranks and comparing them side by side. So with all that being said, getting into the first test. This one is the standard pumps against the top tier one. As I'm sure many of you guys guessed, the standard pumps absolutely suck. Honestly, I wouldn't even get them even if you only had $75,000 and you wanted hydraulics. They're really not that good. As you can see in the clip, once we start bouncing, you don't get that much height at all. And at least to me, that's the fun in having the hydraulics is getting like the higher bounces. So the $75,000 ones, I honestly didn't like them. It just felt like they didn't have enough power. Your car felt too heavy, pretty much. So overall, I would give the standard pumps a thumbs down. The next version, this one is the quad pumps four in a row. And this one's a little bit more expensive at $125,000. And as you can see, when we both pop our cars up, it's a little bit closer to actually showing like the entire wheel like his is doing. Once we start bouncing the front, as you can see here, it doesn't go as high as obviously the top tier ones, but it didn't feel as heavy as the, the standard pumps. And as you can see, if you time the jumps right, you can still get some pretty decent air with these $125,000 pumps. So in conclusion, I would say that if you're really struggling on money, get these instead of the standard ones because they're only $50,000 more. That's not that much. And you will be able to enjoy the hydraulics a lot more than the standard ones. Moving into the third tier, this one is the quad pumps 2x2. And it is $200,000. By the way, check out this guy in free mode, in a jet, and he has to kill everybody. Anybody else hate when people do that in GTA Online? Anyway, back to the tests. So this one is actually my favorite, at least for the amount of money that you spent and the amount of, like, I guess, bounciness you get, you know, from it. As you can see from the height comparison, when we both go up, it's really similar. It's really close to showing the entire wheel like the top tier one, like his car shows. And honestly, when we started bouncing, I didn't notice that much of a difference between this one and the fourth top tier hydraulics. So in conclusion, I would say that if you have a decent amount of money and you're looking to get the most fun out of the hydraulics, but you don't just want to throw money away pretty much, get these. Like I said, these are, in my opinion, the best hydraulics that you can get for the money. And then finally, moving on into the fourth tier, the quad pumps V pattern. These are $250,000. And I know I said at the beginning, $50,000 isn't much, but in my opinion, you don't need these unless you just want the looks of them in your trunk because the 2x2 two two will do basically the exact same. Now, obviously, when we both lift our cars up here, it does go a few like inches higher than the 2x2. Two two, but again, the bouncing, I didn't notice that much of a difference. If you do time the jumps just right with the 2x2, two two, you can get just as high as the V pattern. And then finally, this last thing that I want to show you guys, I am in the Chino in this clip, and he is in the same Buccaneer. We both have the top tier hydraulics, the V pattern, and as you're going to see, my car goes a, a good amount higher than his. It appears that the Chino could be lighter, I guess, than the Buccaneer. So I'm assuming that, you know, different cars will go higher depending on, I guess, their weight. But in conclusion, when it comes to hydraulics, I would say go for the second tier if you were struggling for money, but you still want to get the enjoyment out of them. And I would say go with the third tier if you have enough money, but you just don't want to like outright waste the money, I guess. Unless you're getting the hydraulics for their looks, performance wise, I would say the third is just as good as the fourth. Anyway, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns or anything in the comment section. Hope this video helped you out because 
I know there's been a ton of people, especially on Twitter, telling me they don't have enough money. And I hope this helps you figure out which hydraulic system, if you were going to buy one, uh, to get. So, see you guys in the next video. Drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.